Hey guys, welcome back to Auto Repair guys. Our mission here at the garage is to save you guys as much money as we can. That's why we make these absolutely free videos guys. Let's go ahead and start on it now. Today we will show you how to diagnose airbag system on BMW uh, E65, E66. We got a 745 AY right here now. And we have the airbag light on for some reason. Okay guys, so Stay with us, we'll show you how to fix that. And as you can see, that's what we're using Maxis's diagnostic tool. And uh, that's that's pretty powerful tool. Uh, we've used it on all kinds of vehicles and it, it works great. Okay, that's that's a programming device that comes with it there. Okay, that's the one. And also, uh, you have the cable, the OBD cable. And in addition to that, guys, you have special adapters for any, any make, model. For other vehicles, you can even see for Benz here, BMW, other ones, and uh, even some new ones as well. So uh, we're going to connect it now and see see what's wrong with it. Stay with us. So what we will need to do, we need to uh, uh, locate the OBD. Okay, OBD connector right here. We need to pull the cap. Okay, just like that. So we have enough room to put it in. Okay, like that. And uh, next thing, we need to connect the cable. It goes only one way. Okay, there is a communication with it. You can see the lights here. And uh, next step will be just to uh, turn the ignition on. Okay, without starting the vehicle. All right, guys, so what we need to do, we need to insert the key and you need to press the start button without holding the brake just one time. Okay, and that way, okay, right there, we will have the ignition on. Okay, right there. And now, what we need to do, we are actually going to go ahead and scan the system and see what the problem is. So, in order to connect it, you need to go to diagnostics. And if you read the VIN number, it has auto detect and it's going to detect the vehicle by the VIN number and tell you what make, model and all that kind of details. So you don't have to do that manually, but you have the options to do it. And sometimes it will not, it will not read it, like in our case, probably it will be only 5% of the time, but it wasn't able to read it. So we need to manually select the vehicle, which, what we need to do right now, we need to go to BMW. Okay, we need to locate it, right here, BMW. And we need to select the vehicle from the list of vehicles that we have now. Okay, we will go to manual selection. 7 series right here it is the 65 e 66 model and this one is 745 li which will be right here this one and this one is usa left hand side steering wheel and specifically uh, we need to check uh, which year that one is 2003 model so we're going to select like me check now the month quick okay we will need to select uh, this one right here because it's actually february 2003 so we'll go this one okay and this is the correct one so it's connecting now it will take some time but uh, it will connect so we're going to go to diagnostics and this one is pretty complicated, so we're going to go to auto scan because there is like 20 different modules that you can connect uh, and diagnose the airbag. So, uh, okay, right here now, it's called probably safety, safety and information module. We'll check. We have a we have a problem there. You can see. Okay, that's number four. So we're going to scan the whole system, everything that you can find on that BMW, every computer, every module. We'll scan and see uh, see what kind of current codes we had. The car was sitting for a long time when developed the problem. So it could be low voltage, it could be something else. We definitely need to diagnose and see what it is. But low voltage and not a good battery will cause that. So uh, stay with us, we'll see what it is once we scan everything. It's still at like 28% and it's on uh, module number 17. So that thing has quite a few modules. Okay guys, so we got a few problems, just the vehicle sitting for a few months with a dead battery right here. You can see we have a total, let me scroll it down, a total of 54 computers, that's modules, that's pretty ridiculous. 
Okay, we have driver side rear. He has a fault, a passenger door fault, uh, which could be something simple. We have faults in the passenger and driver seat. We'll check those. But let's go ahead and see uh, see if we can find the fault for the airbag. Okay, uh, see if it's under safety. Okay, let's see. Let let's read the codes and see what we get now. This thing is super complicated. It's not there. Uh, I don't know why we even have that. It says not present code. Okay, right here we're going to delete this one, and it went away. So that was part for the airbag. It said not present. So most likely it was because of the dead battery, and the battery is still not completely okay because we have uh, 1164 volts 11.64 which is okay right here which is still uh, less than 12 volts and you have to have 12 volts uh, for everything to be functioning correctly especially in a complicated vehicle like this so uh, that was our our fault i don't know uh, what caused it most likely it's the dead battery and we have a few more that we need to diagnose okay and see what what it is okay let's see uh, with the driver's side uh, driver seat actually let's read the code and see what we have there okay it says rapid heating air recursion and the other one is not even present residual heating air recursion so uh, that's most likely with the uh, with the heating seat okay most likely one of the there is a there is a problems with one of the heaters there so we can just go ahead and erase these codes and see if it's going to do something okay right there and we'll have only well no not even anything right now okay let's see the same for the passenger side and see if we have the same codes active seat pressure switch active seat pressure switch so that could be that could be a problem there i don't know for sure but this could be actually uh, part of the airbag system as well the one that detects if there is a passenger or not so uh, let's go ahead and see if we can if we can actually do that uh, seat heating seat adjustment <coughs> no nothing here so let's go ahead and and erase these codes and see if it will come back if it comes back then it will definitely need to be fixed uh, what I would recommend if you have a dead battery, just erase all the codes, drive the car for a little bit and uh, if something comes back then, then you have a problem. I will do a quick erase and go ahead and erase everything that we have a problem with. And uh, we have one of the doors, he has a problem. Alright, okay, just out of curiosity, let's see what this one is. Let's read the codes and see what caused it mirror vertical okay have no idea why we have that code it says it still says it's present let's see if the mirror actually works there it does it moves you can see okay so it's fine let's check this door as well everything works so uh I don't know what caused it we'll go ahead and erase that one if it comes back we'll diagnose it and we'll share it with you if you will find a solution for it okay reading codes still coming back the same way so uh that's how we guys diagnose the thing with the with the maxis it's actually under um for as you can see sim safety and information module so if you actually exit this and go to control unit and you should be able to find it okay it's the first one right here SIM safety and information module this one so uh, you can you can do quite a few tests and stuff you can read codes uh, you can check live data if it's working correctly and if it's not okay and a normal voltage okay this one right here that says normal voltage that's that's the problem right here if it drops less than normal it might throw an airbag light on okay everything everything looks fine so that's it guys thank you for watching uh we don't have the airbag light on let me let me just go ahead and start it for you we have a flat tire warning that we will diagnose soon but you can see the airbag light is gone and we don't have uh, we don't have anything there 
Okay, seat belt light because we don't have the seat belt on. But if I go ahead and put the seat belt, everything should be should be good there. Okay, so the airbag system is is perfectly fine. So that's uh, that's what it is. Just low voltage goes out. So guys, hopefully the video was helpful. If you have any questions, don't hesitate to let us know. Now check out our YouTube channels, guys. We have more than 19,000 free repair videos that can save you thousands of dollars in future repairs. That's why we make these absolutely free videos. Hopefully the video will be helpful. Thank you for watching. See you guys next time.